So moving forward with governance reform, each of the 590 plus communities that are still Indian Act bands, either individually or in tribal groupings, will need to go through a local process of deconstructing their own Indian Act reality and rebuild their community and government collectively. In short, we need to complete the process of decolonization. As leaders, it is our challenge and our responsibility to work to ensure that when our citizens direct change and when our nations are ready, that Canada does not act as a gatekeeper to our liberation and restrict the opening of the post-colonial door.